on your mark, get set, ready, let's go. Oh. One of the five places in the world that are part of the Blue Zone. Blue Zone is a concept used to identify areas in the world where people live very, very long lives. I'm going to explore the food, the workouts, the Zen life. And I will let you in on a secret that will make you feel 21 forever. There's a lot to tick off my bucket list, but first, I must check in. I'm headed straight to my hotel, Cala di Volpe in Costa Smeralda. A spectacular 30 km stretch in the northeast part of Sardinia, the largest Italian island in the Mediterranean. First on my bucket list, living at King Size in the Presidential Suite. Volpe was the backdrop of the James Bond film The Spy Who Loved Me and is better known as the party pad of the rich and the famous. The presidential suite spreads across 500 square meters and comes with a three-bedroom bathroom ensemble, a 24-hour butler service and a view to die for. I'm in the second largest island in the Mediterranean after Sicily. This is Sardinia and at the moment I'm in the presidential suite of the Cala di Volpe Hotel which is located in the northeast part of the island and this is my home for the next few days. euros or over 20 lakh rupees a night this is one of the most expensive suites in the world that and a view like this who wouldn't love their job stunning you know the best part that if I'm too lazy to go into the pool or to the beach, I have my own jacuzzi right here. So you know why this property is on my bucket list? Because everything from the art on the walls to the furniture to the tiles has been specially handcrafted by the local Sardinian artisans. And for me, there's no better way to spend your vacation than surrounding yourself with local culture and heritage. Just when I thought it couldn't get any better, my butler was ready with chocolates and a little note that would lead me to my surprise. I have been told that they are going to use some local Sardinian creams and scrubs for my massage. But the one that I'm looking forward to the most is the cream with the anti-aging Cananao grape. Wow, they really know how to pamper their guests. A relaxing Sardinian massage, definitely on my bucket list. A game of golf at the same course where James Bond shot next on my bucket list. Seeing off at the Pavero Golf Club in Costa Smeralda is next on my bucket list. It's an 18-hole golf course with 72 par. I can't wait for my journey to begin here. And to help me, I have Marco, a professional golfer and the director of the club. Come, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go to play. So, Marco, what's exceptional about the Povero Golf Club? This is really a tough course. It's a famous 
uh, in all Europe, uh, of course. And uh, we, we hosted many, many big tournaments. And we hosted the Italian Open in 978. The winner was Dale Hayes, a South African player, and won with five over par, you think, five over par after four rounds, because it was really windy. And we have now the negative record of the European Tour. So it was strange, but the old Pevero beats all the important and famous golf clubs in Europe. I believe uh, the James Bond film, The Spy Who Loved Me, was shot here. Yes, they filmed here in uh, July 76, uh, the, the, the film, and they used, uh, like I said, the Cala di Volpe, and many other places here, uh, Capriccioli, the Hotel Pitrizza, and so on. And uh, people who are not members, who are just tourists like me, can, can anybody come and play at the golf club or do you need to be members? No, uh, the, the, the club uh, is practically open. Uh, sure, there are membership fee, but uh, it's open. We are a touristic resort here. Wonderful. So, should we start? Yes, why not? Club down. Getting a golf lesson in this beautiful setting in Costa Smeralda is unbelievable. That may not have been as good as Bond, but I sure surprised myself with that shot. Thank you so much for the golf one. Thanks for your visit. You're welcome. Okay, see you. I will be back very soon. Again. Okay, thank you. Next on my bucket list, it's time to dive in the ocean. The water in Sardinia is so beautiful, blue and inviting and I can't wait to jump in. On almost every stretch there is a vast menu of water sports. However, on my bucket list is a combination of kayaking and tubing. Whether you're a first-timer or you do this a lot, tubing is something that needs to be on every adventure junkie's bucket list. Now it was time to stand on water. Literally. Oops, I think I said it too soon. Once bitten, twice shy. I'm going to a safer boat. If you are a water baby, then kayaking in the bluest of blue is just what you need. Well, I'm completely drenched, but that was a day well spent and should be on your agenda when you are in Sardinia. After all that hard work, I'm a little peckish and you know what's next on my bucket list. Now it's time to find out the secrets of a Sardinian longevity diet. When in Sardinia, the Sardinian longevity diet is a priority and to tell me that, I have with me Franco. To be honest, it's a Mediterranean diet with a lot of vegetables, uh, a lot of pasta. Uh, very simple. And uh, how is um, the Sardinian diet or the Sardinian food different from uh, the food in the rest of Italy? Uh, we produce our own pasta, uh, homemade pasta. We uh, drink our wines, uh, we drink our milk. So is this truffle pizza uh, a local as well? This is made actually with uh, um, uh, our um, flour oh. and the truffle comes from the soil for Sardinia. This is the black truffle that you can find in Sardinia as well. It is very nice, it's very good actually. Taste it. I have to agree with Franco. This is undoubtedly the best pizza I have ever tasted. And tell me a bit about the history of Sardinia. Well, Sardinia to be honest is the second biggest island in the Mediterranean Sea. The habitant, we are only 1,500,000, so okay. that means that we have a lot of place. And um, the main industry in Sardinia is tourism, tourism. obviously, and agricultural. Okay. No? Now, till the 60s, the tourism in Sardinia was basic. In the 60s, what's happened that the Prince Saga Khan, uh, we, we love so much actually, yeah. uh, came here and discovered uh, these seas, uh, 
and he was shocked by the beauty of the seas, by the beauty of uh, uh, the territory. And this is how the, the Costa Esmeralda was born from scratch. Uh, and it thanks to him that now actually uh, we are, for sure we are, one of the best uh, resort, the best uh, uh, tourist uh, places to visit in the world. And tell me a bit about the architecture of the hotel. When this hotel came up in 1962? Correct. Correct. It gathered together three very famous architects. One is Jacques Well, a French one. One is Buzzi Vici, he did actually the Romazzino. And the other one was Vietri, who did the Pitrizza, designed the Pitrizza and the Cervo. Um, and they worked together uh, constantly for one year. And they tried and, and they find a way not to destroy any rocks. They save everything, even trees. They, they designed the hotel into the territory, okay. not breaking down anything. So people feel home uh, and people belong, really. So tell me a bit about what we are eating. We eat in lobster, uh, which is a, a typical product uh, uh, of our seas, uh, made in Sardinian style. Uh, it tastes fantastic. When you, when you eat it, uh, you can taste the sea in your mouth. Easy to do, easy to eat, and very low calories. Okay. That means longevity. Low calories and a long life. This kind of lunch I can do every day. Very nice. So what's next that we're eating? We're going to eat uh, Sardinian pasta, homemade pasta, just you made with your finger, called Maloredus. Um, this is made actually with uh, zucchini, fresh zucchini, fresh tomato, fresh basil and parsley, and white clams. Right. Sardinian white clams. Lovely. Fantastic. Okay. And you just, you do like that actually. Now, while I finish this fabulous lunch, why don't you take a short break and come right back to see what's next on my bucket list. Mm -hmm.